So, I wanna make a few things clear. Number one, I am a Disney adult, but not like a hardcore Disney adult, like a closeted Disney adult. I don't talk about it in public. I have a little weird thing, and everyone has a little weird thing. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the pot calling. They're saying something racist about the kettle. And before we get into this video, I, we're not gonna be talking about Disneyland. Yes, it came first, and it's got a bunch of cool secrets in history, but it's, it's small. I like big. This is small, I like big. As someone who's made a lot of good memories at Disney World, it is sad to see where the parks are at now. So I'd like to just take a second and explain why I think Disney World kind of sucks. Also, I went to Disney World a lot because my friend's parents were rich when I was a kid and they had a timeshare at Disney World. Not because my parents had a lot of money. The recession affected us deeply. My dad lost his job. I'm not wearing the mask anymore. I kept seeing myself in the camera and I was getting scared. But I just want to talk about some overarching reasons for why the park sucks and then we'll go into the specifics later. Number one, overcrowding. You guys gotta leave. Too many people, we gotta, you guys gotta go. It's just a mix of like a post-COVID boom of people trying to leave their houses as well as brand new attractions and you know, the mouse doesn't care. He doesn't care at all, he's just trying to get all the money. He doesn't care if the lines are all three hours long. He doesn't give a hoot. And overcrowding leads to, yes, long lines, but it also leads to me feeling absolutely not safe because this is America and large crowds of people attracts the crazies. I mean, it's already doing that. I mean, it's not good. I mean, the parks can't handle that many people. Last year at Hollywood Studios or MGM, which is a way better name for it, the average wait time for lines was 75 minutes. And there's only like nine real rides there. So if you wanted to ride every ride at MGM Studios or Hollywood Studios, wherever the f you would have to spend 11 hours in line. And you, the park's only open for 12 hours. It's not working, Disney, it's not working, Mouse. And you might be thinking, oh, well, I'll just get a fast pass. You're a joke. You're an asshole for thinking that. I'm not gonna dwell on this topic too much because we've all seen Shapeland USA. And if you haven't seen Shapeland USA, you're a dumb dumb. go watch that. But the old version of the Fast Pass used to be that it was free and you just kind of like walk up to a little booth and you get a ticket and they're like, you come back later and you'll have fun. And I was like, cool, that's awesome. Now you download an app called Genie Plus and on that app, you pay $15 per person to get into the lightning lanes for a chance to get into the lightning lanes. Big, big emphasis on the chance because you might not even get the fast passes and you already paid $15. And the opportunity to buy the pass opens up at 7 in the morning, but it's not like, you know, come whenever. It's you got to get it fast and then you have to wait two hours to get another pass. And by then, all the good rides are taken up. So, you know, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. I mean, I haven't been in the park in like seven years and I can't afford to go now, but it's, you know, the idea of going to the park and that happening to me makes my, my penis shrink. <laughs> So Disney World has like five parks and it used to cost the same amount to go to each park But now they have like dynamic pricing so each park has a different price each day It changes daily so it could cost way more to go to Magic Kingdom than it could cost to go to Epcot And I kind of get that because Epcot's doing its thing which is nothing but still that's not fair But Disney also changes it up in terms of like how many people are expected to show up that day So you got to pick a day that's like a national tragedy or something so that you have less people showing up And then you're just sad you're in Mickey ears and thinking about 9-11 And this is all without talking about like the merchandise and the extra fees and all that bullshit, but we'll talk about that later. Working at Disney seems like hell. A lot of like college interns sign up for this, but it, I, they, they, it seems like hell. There's so many weird little rules you have to follow if you're walking around being a cast member, AKA unpaid employee. A man can have a mustache or a beard, but the beard has to be an exactly one inch long. It can't be shorter or longer. Stubble doesn't work. No piercings, no tattoos, no unnatural hair color. So if you got like rainbow hair, you gotta, you know, wash that out before you sign up. Who knew working at Disney World would have Jewish cemetery rules? But the worst part about all of it is that you can't break the mask. Magic, which means you have to be a happy-go-lucky nerd the entire time unless you work at Tower of Terror Which I've heard they all love working there because you get to frown the whole time But besides that you have to be unnaturally happy even if the worst shit is happening to you. Welcome to the parks everybody Let's see how long it takes for someone to call me a slur. Oh little buddy looks like you spilled something. Oh, no, that's piss You're currently pissing on me. Okay Well, I'm gonna be standing in the Sun for 14 hours So, you know, I could use a little sprinkle. Oh, uh, ma'am You have to smoke cigarettes in the designated smoking area. Go fuck myself sounds like a pleasure. Where's Space Mountain? Well, it's just right ahead. It's the giant fucking mountain. Yes, sir, the Little Mermaid should be white. I can't legally disagree with you. Lucky for you, Disney hasn't changed a goddamn thing about the park, so all the Little Mermaids here are white as snow. You want the movie change too? Well, boy howdy, as an unpaid intern, how about I just text the CEO and, you know, try and get time travel involved. Oh my gosh, you're here on Make-A-Wish? Can you, are, is it contagious? Can you cough on me? Well, the hours are long and I'm not getting paid, but at least this is good experience on my resume working in a theme park. I've been scammed. 
I've already said that other people at the park is the worst part about the park, but the, there's specific people that show up that ruin the experience. I mean, first off, you got the over-preparers who are turn a vacation trip to the happiest place on earth to a miserable crawl. Listen, everyone goes to Disney World with a game plan, but that game plan always goes to shit whenever the mouse shoots the starter pistol and everyone rushes the gate. Sometimes your fast pass isn't gonna work. Sometimes you don't get to that special restaurant reservation where you pay $40 for a dumbass meal. Sometimes the toddler gets struck by a firework at the fireworks show. Things change. But you're just miserable to look at. I can tell you're ruining your family's vacation and the mouse is laughing at you. He's laughing up in his castle, so just relax. And then there's always the, the unkempt teen who's trying to be the cool guy and not enjoy Disney. It's fun. It's fun. This is fun. You don't have to go on It's a Small World. That ride sucks. Go on Space Mountain. That's fun. Rock and Roll Coaster? That thing rips. I understand that you want to make your parents as upset as possible by them spending a lot of money and you not being happy, but you know, enjoy yourself a little bit because it's embarrassing for me and you. And on that same vein, when I see children not having a fun time like normal kids, like they're having a little bit of fun, but then something goes wrong and they start crying, you are at Disney World, my guy. You're This is the best it's ever gonna get for you. And children have no concept of money, so I don't blame them, but like, you know, you just met Pluto. You're not gonna do that ever again. And when I'm in line for Haunted Mansion and I see a kid slapping his dad and crying because he's too afraid to go in, even though at the beginning of the line he said he wanted to do it, I wanna uh, uh, punch that child. I don't because then I would not be able to go back to the park, but I would if I wasn't in the park. And worst of all is the Human Disney Trivia Book. Shut up. Shut up. I have watched many a YouTube video about all the little tips, tricks, and secrets of every Disney park, and I enjoy that shit a lot, but I don't need you to tell me that. Don't need you to tell me that. If I go back to Disney and I hear the words Hidden Mickey come out of a nerd's mouth in line, that's a quick sock to the jaw. Just a quick pump. Just to let them know, no one wants to hear that. Did you know that the Haunted Mansion and the Pirates of the Caribbean ride are in the same universe? You can tell by the plot points in the first ride. Shut up, oh my God. Makes me so mad. I, I love those facts, but not coming out of you. Come one, come all, it's time to play America's favorite game show, Guess That Obscene Price. We all know that Disney is expensive, that's like 50% of the brand, but what we don't know is how expensive it actually has gotten. Shit's gotten crazy. So let's go down the list and find out exactly how much you're getting screwed. A regular old bottle of Coke, how much would you spend on that? Probably a dollar in any vending machine. Joke's on you, that's $5. You're paying $5 for Coke, something that is cheaper than water. But don't worry, if you're looking for a souvenir, you can get one of these dog shit refillable cups that cost $22. So, you know, they drive a hard bargain. How about a beautiful plastic tiara for your beautiful little princess? How much is that gonna run you? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, $89. Eighty nine dollars for a plastic tiara. And you're gonna have to buy it because she's gonna cry. And you don't wanna look like a bad parent. God forbid. I also found this sweater. Take your guesses, two hundred and seventy dollars. What the fuck's going on? The fuck? So I'm gonna do some math now, and I'm not very good at that, so bear with me. So most people who go to Disney World have a kid with them, so we're gonna calculate in a child, let's call him the uh, scam boy. And I'm in Chicago, so a flight from Chicago to Orlando on average is $326, so let's multiply that by two. And we probably wanna stay there for about five nights, and we need a hotel. We're not gonna stay outside of Disney, because we will be crimed. So we're gonna go pick a moderate level hotel. We're not gonna stay at Pop Century, because we will be crimed. So let's say this one for $300 a night, so that's another $1,500. And I told you the park prices are weird and I had to average some shit out, but five day passes for me and a child, it's looking like $1,000 for five days. And on average, to eat at Disney every day, it's gonna cost an adult $82 and a child 48, and that's five days, and it's such dog shit food usually, but that's averaging out to be, what, $650? Yeah, $650. So it averages out to be just under $3,500 for two people for five days. And I, it's not good anymore, so why would you do that? All right, so obviously I'm a little tiffed. Oh God, you can see my belly. Obviously I'm a little tiffed about the whole Disney thing right now, and I'm not gonna go for a very long time until they figure it out. I don't think they are, because they're still making a shit ton of money. But at the end of the day, make your own choices, make your child happy, make sure you go between the ages of like four and six though, because they're not gonna remember anything before that fucking age. I think it's so where people do that. But the next time you wanna bring your family on a trip and you wanna make it special, just go to Knott's Berry Farm or Canopy Lake Park. Or, oh, Lake Compounds. Holy shit, that park is so dope. Like, share, and subscribe. Share it with the homies, you know? Share it with your Disney adult friends that can't get a fucking clue that you don't care that much. Everyone have a blessed one. I'm gonna try and grab my cat for the end of this video, but she's fucking crazy right now. There we go. There we go.